wait for everything to pop up. There we go. And we'll get started pretty quick. Brandon should be proud of me this morning. This is probably one of the shortest ones I've done. I say that now, but we'll see. As long as all this will load so I can see your comments. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see if it'll load over here. All right, so let me know where you're watching from. Good morning, Xavier, Stephanie, Mr. Hagen Sr., Q, Mallory. Good morning, y'all. Y'all share this. And pull this up over here. Give me just one second. Since my laptop didn't want to work, I'm having to go a different way. We are talking about security in insecure times. Uh, the guys have done a great job this week. Q with their testimony. I was gonna do music, but Pastor Kai and uh, Bishop Brandon kind of have a lock on that, so I decided not to do it. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring the word, what the Lord has showed me, I had one thing prepared, and then yesterday, the Lord was like, no. Nah. So it's always fun when he does that. So here's what we're going to do. How do we stay secure in secure times? Brennan talked a lot yesterday about the word, and so it kind of ties in because that's the ultimate answer. If you want to feel secure, if you want to have that assurance of security, you have to meditate continually upon the word. You have to chew, regurgitate. Set your mind and your ways and your actions on the word of the Lord. So, if we want to produce the fruit of security, go with me here. If we want to produce the fruit of security, because everything we produce in our life is a fruit, whether it be good fruit or bad fruit. Security is a good fruit, right? So if you want to produce the fruit of security, which you could also say safety, peace, provision, being in your right mind, all of those things are security. Because you can feel insecure in your, your own way you think of yourself. You can feel insecure in your finances. Feel insecure as far as safety, your health, all of those things. You can feel insecure. As you hop on, let me know. I see a bunch of other people hopping on but not greeting me. And I would love to be able to greet you this morning. So let me know as you're hopping on. Let me know where you're watching from. Talking about how to stay secure. So if we want to produce the fruit of security, then we must be connected and remain connected to the source of security. So let's go to John 15. If it sounds like tap dancing, that is Ollie walking around on the tile, smelling everything. So John 15 verse 1. Good morning, Donna. It says, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every, good morning, Cheryl. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already, already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch connect, listen to this. This is where we're going. Abide in me, and I abide, and I in you. The branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. So without the Lord, without our Savior Jesus, we can do nothing. But as long as we stay connected to him, the source of our fruit then we can produce 
good fruit. So when we stay attached to the vine, we are able to draw strength and nutrients to the vine. I mean, just like any natural plant, when we stay connected, we draw strength and nutrients. Think about it in, in context of the word. When Peter walked on water, when he stayed focused on Jesus, he produced the fruit of faith, being able to walk on the water. As soon as his eyes left Jesus and looked to the wind and the waves and the storms and the situation, he began to sink. What about the, the four men in the fiery furnace? They didn't care what the situation was. They didn't care what other people were saying. When they kept their eyes focused on the Father, they walked through the fiery furnace not even smelling of smoke. How do we stay connected to the source? Just giving you two points. How do we stay connected to the source? Brandon nailed it, <clears throat> nailed it yesterday. The Word. The Word, the Word, the Word. We have to stay connected by the Word. The Word is the water that nourishes our seed. Number two, prayer. Prayer is like the fertilizer. The fertilizer that feeds us, that gives us our nutrients. So the Word and prayer. We have to think what we put into our seeds determine the fruit that we produce. If we want to produce a good harvest, we want to produce abundant fruit, we want to produce good fruit, we have to sow the right things into our seed. If we are to remain secure in insecure times, we have to stay connected to the source of security and we have to be watering and feeding our seeds, our spirits, with the right nutrients. So that's it this morning. I told you it was going to be quick. It's going to be simple. We, if we want to stay secure in insecure times, we have to stay connected to the source. The source of security. If we, if we were going to do that, how do we do it? By prayer and by the word. So remember, don't be that vine. This is exactly what we're talking about. Don't be cut off from the source. Don't allow your actions and your choices to cut you off from the source. When you cut yourself off from the source, you can only produce bad fruit. As long as you stay connected, you're producing good fruit in your life. So if you want to partner with us, you want to be a part of what we're doing, feeding uh, the hungry in South Africa, supporting orphans and mothers in the Philippines, you can go to www.saltshaker513.com. You can zeal us at, with, through our Email address, thesaltshaker513 at gmail.com. Cash app, uh, dollar sign 513 salt shaker. We would love for you to partner with us. If you partner with us, we're going to send you a free gift. We love you all. Thank you all so much for tuning in every day. Make sure you share this, a very simple, quick message to encourage people and to point them in the right direction of being secure in insecure times. We love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow.